Last week, another new AI-generated reporter took the stage at a top television channel, this time in Thailand. The avatar's name is Nacha, and she's described in the press release as having been created from the most advanced algorithms. Okay, then. She just posted a news story about the eclipse in North America. Let's see what we think. ในวันที่8ถึง9เมษายนนี้จะเกิดสุริยุปราคาเต็มดวงจากการที่ดวงจันทร์เข้ามาใกล้โลกมากเป็นพิเศษและบทบังดวงอาทิตย์ได้มิดทั้งดวงโดยแนวเส้นทางแคบๆเริ่มขึ้นในมหาสมุทรแปซิฟิกและผ่านเม็กซิโกสหรัฐแคนาดาและตอนเหนือของมหาสมุทรแอตแลนติก Well, it was good, but I think you'll agree that it's a bit stilted, right? The body is essentially frozen, and the head moves in a very limited manner in a seemingly predefined way. Also, the facial expression and voice intonation are uniformly serious, even for a human interest topic like a solar eclipse. To compare, let's look next at an AI presenter from China. 现场的各位朋友，大家好。欢迎来到新华社，我是由新华社和搜狗公司联合培育的全球首个 AI 合成女主播。我的名字叫新小萌，我的声音和外形脱胎于新华社新媒体中心新闻主播屈萌。我将会在今年全国两会期间与大家见面。我和我的搭档将为大家带来更好的新闻体验。Well, there seems to be maybe more subtlety in the facial expressions, and this time. The body isn't completely frozen. The arms move a little bit, although the movements seem to be repeated in a predefined arc. Anyway, overall, I'd maybe rate this one a bit higher than the Thai example. Let's look next at a popular avatar from India named Lisa. OTV has marked the beginning of a historic moment not only in Odisha. But for all the regional television broadcast mediums across the country, please tune in for our upcoming segments where I will be hosting latest news updates coming in from Odisha, India, and around the world. I hope you will accept me with the same love and enthusiasm. Namaste. Thank you. Okay. For me, what's captivating about this presenter is the eye contact, which is very engaging the way it's done. On the other hand, the repetitive up and down head movement is a bit distracting after a while. Also, there's a chunk of text we heard that should probably be read differently, as follows: Updates coming from Odisha, India, and around the world. But instead, the text-to-speech algorithm keys in too much on the commas, so it comes out like this. News updates coming in from Odisha, India, and around the world. Yeah, so there's still some work to do there, but it's very engaging all the same, right? Now let's set our sails for the Middle East and give a listen to Feda from Kuwait. Ana Feda, أول مذيعة في الكويت تعمل بذكاء الاصطناعي في مؤسسة كويت نيوز الإعلامية. ما هي نوعية الأخبار التي تفضلونها؟ What's strong about this one is the overall body movement is more natural. However, the lips might be a bit out of sync with the voice. In fairness, this is quite a small sample to judge from, but it seems pretty good overall. And these examples are on prime time television, after all. So implicitly, they serve as benchmarks. For any work that you or I might want to do, and so now, let's say we want to create a talking avatar. As you might guess, there are online tools for that. One such tool is Synthesia. Let's take a look at a demo video and see what we think. Hello there, I'm Alex, a customer service professional here at Global Innovations Incorporated. In the digital era, mastering remote selling is paramount. Let's dive into the do's and don'ts of remote selling, 
and explore how our interactions shape the client's experience. Two sales calls, two different outcomes. Let's dissect them. Here we have Sarah. Her tone and pace set the stage for a productive conversation. I understand you're looking for a new CRM. Can you share more about the challenges you're currently facing? We're having difficulty with team communication and project tracking. Well, it's okay. But you probably noticed a problem there at the end of the sample, which is a common one. All the character options of most of these text-to-speech applications tend to deliver their script in a kind of monotonous way, which is not great for a talking head narration, but maybe okay. However, that style of delivery doesn't work well at all for a role play, as I'm sure you noticed. It's just not very realistic of the way people actually talk to each other. I actually learned about this firsthand. At the end of last year, I did an experiment where I generated images of little birds in mid-journey and then wrote a script and did text to speech for that and then animated the birds to make them look like they were talking to each other. And that's where I first encountered this problem. I ended up going with a tool called MRF AI, which had a selection of children's voices, which worked better for the little birds. Here's a sample of that. Let's sing too. We can make a pretty song as a birthday present for the little baby and his mother. Good idea. Let's sing together. Me too. I want to sing for them. It's very nice of you to offer. But... What if you just hum along with us? Because you don't sing too well. Let's let him sing with us. Maybe tonight, his voice will be better because he has a very big heart. Okay. Anyway, it's what's in the heart that counts. Okay. The little Murph voices are pretty good. Almost there. But that animation, using a free tool? <clears throat> Not so much. Coming back to Synthesia, there's a line in there that should be read like this. Let's dive in to the do's and don'ts of remote selling. Do's and don'ts act as a pair, but listen again to how that line gets delivered by the avatar. Let's dive into the do's and don'ts of remote selling. Yep, that's an issue. So there's still plenty of work to do to fix that kind of thing. By the way, we don't need to assume that we'll use an artificially created avatar. An interesting alternative is to start with a real person, maybe a well-known personality that has a licensing agreement so you can animate them for a fee. For example, Meta has a really good product for that. Let's take a look. Me? I'm Brew. And if you're looking to talk sports, you come to the right place. Hmm. Suspicious. Hmm. Suspicious. Hey guys, it's Billy. I just want to introduce myself. I am here to chat whenever you want. Message me for any advice. I am ready to talk and I hope to talk to you soon. That looks very promising, huh? I'd say that's clearly better than any of those news anchors we looked at just now. And so, if we're here to talk about good, better, best, then let's conclude by looking at something that blew me away. The technology is called EMO, which is short for Emote Portrait Alive. They did a demo animation of Mona Lisa. Let's take a look. <clears throat> yes, one. And in this manner, he was to imagine me his love, his mistress. And I set him every day to woo me, at which time would I, being but a moonish youth, grieve, be effeminate, changeable, longing and liking, proud, fantastical, apish, shallow. Amazing, huh? And to cap things off, here's an animation of Audrey Hepburn using the same technology, both singing and talking. Check this out. 
when I was a kid, I feel like you heard the thing, you heard the term, don't cry. You don't need to cry. Crying is the most beautiful thing you can do. I encourage people to cry. I cry all the time. And I think it's the most healthy expression of how you're feeling. And I, I sometimes wish I just could have been told, you can cry. I never knew you were the someone waiting for me. We were just kids when we fell in love, not knowing what it was. I will not give you up this time. Did you see the nuance and all those facial features? Wow. I'll leave a link to that for you in the comments so you can check more video samples there. And here's a post on that page saying, make it public, please. And another comment there from just two hours ago. I'm very hopeful you will make this available. <laughs> and all I can say is me too. I want this. Meanwhile, thanks for watching and see you next time.